Hi everyone, my name is CEO and together with me, I have Ishan. We are from the Stanford Machine Learning Group. Today, we are going to present on the topic of checksing, unseen disease detection for deep learning interpretation of chest x-rays. A bit of a background on why we did the project. A lot of the models these days in machine learning in healthcare focus on diseases that are common, some of which are important, however, the models are not trained on data sets always that have a lot of more diseases in the universe. And in the healthcare setting, it is very common to see rare diseases as there are a lot of diseases that exist in patients. or even diseases that we have never seen before in the medical history, such as the COVID-19. In this project, we want to answer three questions. One, can deep learning models trained on a subset of diseases namely seen diseases, detect the presence of any one of a larger set of diseases. Two, can models detect seen diseases when co-occurring with diseases outside of the subset, namely unseen diseases? Three, how can we form baselines using trained models for detecting the presence of unseen diseases given a small label set of unseen diseases? To answer these questions, we formatted a data set into the following. We adopted the Chexbury data set, which have the following labels, and then we subset them into either seen diseases or unseen diseases. The seen diseases included consolidation, pluripfusion, cardiomegaly. The unseen diseases included edema, atelectasis, pneumothorax, fracture, poor other, and lung lesion. The decision on whether a disease is seen or unseen in our experimental setup is based on the data set itself as well as the nature of the diseases. We trained four different multi-label models. The first one is the all disease model, which has the diseases examples and labels of all the diseases, including seen and unseen diseases. The any disease is a model that has a binary outcome on whether an image has any disease or no disease and it also uses all the examples in the data set. The subset unlabeled disease has seen diseases and no disease examples, but also have unseen diseases, but these unseen diseases were not labeled in the data set. The subset unseen disease model have only no disease as seen disease labels without seeing any pictures with any unseen diseases. The first NACELL experiments was to determine the performance of these various models in detecting no disease. Our results showed that deep learning models may succeed in identifying no disease versus the presence of a disease when an unseen disease co occurs with a seen disease, which you see in the last graph to the right, uh, where you see it have high AOCs for co occurrence. However, a deep learning model may falsely report no disease if an unseen disease appears alone as you see in the only unseen graph. Such a mistake can result in delays in diagnosis and treatment and can possibly even be life-threatening. The second experiment that we do is to measure the performance of detecting a disease from the seen subset um, in the presence of unseen diseases. And our results show that the subset unlabeled and subset unseen models are able to detect seen diseases even in the presence of unseen diseases at a level comparable to the all diseases model. Our third and final experiment was to explore the formation of suitable baselines to detect unseen diseases using feature representations from our trained multi-level models. So to do this, we extracted three feature representations from each of our four models. The feature representations were the final prediction layer, the penultimate layer, and a grad cam or visualization map. We then passed these feature representations um, for a validation set to a binary classifier that's trained to output an unseen score. Our results found that the penultimate layer performs the best as a feature for detecting an unseen disease, followed by the final layer, followed by the visualization map. Out of the four multi-level classifiers, our feature representation from the any disease model performed the best in detecting unseen diseases. And thank you. Uh, you can find our paper on this link. And for any auto correspondence, please feel free to uh, email on this email.